Hello, hello, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. This message or reading is going to be about love and finances, okay? So there could be messages in this reading for you. Uh, like I stated before, my personal readings, I will not be stating if it's a personal reading or not because they are anonymous. So if this is your personal reading, you'll know it's for you. But if it's not and you'd like to book a reading with me, the information is in my description all the time. You can just click my click my link tree. All right, Five of Swords. I got a couple of songs before I started. The Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there's a lot of thinking going on here. This could have been about a friend, possibly. Uh, Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so in the past, somebody felt like you were their wish fulfillment or you felt that way about them uh then it it became this eight of swords energy where you know all up in your head just like i feel some confusion energy here and then the the five i meant the nine of ones did that mean to come out in reverse? A lot of these cards are in reverse. I didn't notice that before I started. So I'm gonna take them all in the upright. Okay, so the nine of wands, yeah. So somebody's feeling like the wounded warrior here. Okay. Six of cups. Thinking about the past a lot. The sun, Leo energy there at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so now this is past energy so far the moon coming out will be the future energy of the situation. The star was at the bottom of the day. So Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces energy coming through. So the song I got before I started was Halsey Without Me. And the other one was Boyfriend Ariana Grande. And so I feel like, yeah, wow. And then the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So Aries, Scorpio energy. So, uh, the boyfriend song, the Ariana Grande song, there's a, a man's part and a woman's part, and both of them say, I'm a wreck. So, you and this person, um, possibly, if if the lyrical messages are right, sometimes it's just part of the song that'll resonate for you. Sometimes it's the whole song, maybe just the title, whoever the singer is, you know, it could strike a memory somehow, but... Uh, what it was making me think is is that, and sometimes I don't have a chance to listen to the whole song, but I listen to a lot of that one. Um, and it makes me feel like <clears throat> you don't know where you stand with this person. and Or maybe that's the way they feel about you. Okay, so death coming out here, uh, as in what you fear, and then the emperor again at the bottom of the deck. So I think that what you what you kind of fear right now is maybe, maybe you're thinking like, is this over? You know, okay, so how they see you, this eight of wands moving on, seven of cups at the bottom of the deck and it's three, three, three on the clock. What you really want or what they really want, three of swords. Mm -mm. Okay, the guidance or advice, six of wands, okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, strength, Leo energy. The reason why I laughed is because I was thinking three of swords, that's about heartbreak, so, and then the six of wands is about success, so if what you want, and then the other song, um, Needed Me by Halsey. Hmm, okay, let me keep going. Okay, because it's like if, if you wanted them to be heartbroken, well, maybe they are okay uh if you're wondering if they watching you know it looks like they are i'm seeing 420 on the clock they maybe they're smoking or something i don't know all right three of pentacles so now i'm going a birthday could be significant don't have to be but um knight of cups at the bottom of the deck cancer pisces scorpio so seeing a lot of threes here uh something's coming together for you 
Now, you did ask about finances and love, so this will be a combination of both. And a lot of times our finances do have a lot to do with the relationships in our lives. So if things are going crappy in our relationships, sometimes it can really affect our money. Okay, so three more cards for the underlying of what's leading up to this guidance or advice. Ten of Wands. Two more, please. The Knight of Wands possibly could have come out in reverse, but okay, the Four of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So the thing is, uh, what I'm getting here is that asking about love and finances, this person that is in your energy, um, I'm not really liking their energy too much with the cards that's out here, okay? Because is this somebody that you worked with at some point? Possibly. There could be somebody that you uh, that you worked with that was kind of... Because this specific Eight of Pentacles card, there's like a Black Widow here. There's a, a rat there. So it's kind of like um, possibly somebody you work around could be kind of a gossipy don't have to be another thing that i get with that sometimes is that um you know whatever cobwebs was around your job work or whatever you're going to be busting through them with this six of wands here because that's victory and success so i feel like the career is going to be picking up here but the thing is what i'm really getting is that these two things are really connected here um Dropping the heavy burden, usually is the Ten of Wands, it's usually like you got a lot of stress on you. You got a lot of stress and heartache on you from whatever this love situation was. So, this person that's in your energy, first of all, the Temperance card on the bottom of this deck I'm about to use, Sagittarius energy. Uh, your, your angels and spirit guys, they're all around you, helping you get through whatever this is. If you, you know, it's like, this card here, these deer in the background, it's like they're standing there, but he don't even notice them because he's carrying that big pile of, uh, you know, wands or whatever those are. Um, the hangman at the bottom of the deck. And I, birthday, again, birthday could be significant. Uh, a Leo could be significant. Okay, or a Taurus. Don't have to be, but I'm just telling you the thoughts that are coming to my mind as I do your reading because they could be significant. Okay, so tell me more about <clears throat> because whoever this person is, like a lot of times when I'm doing a well, you were wondering about um love and finances. So, and with the song that came out, it's not like this isn't it doesn't feel like a it feels like you don't know where you stand with this person. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, I'm seeing things here that look like red flags to me. Because literally, there's a flag back here. There's flags here. Um, okay, let's keep going. So, all right. So, uh, the six of wands. I do feel like somebody somebody from your past is lurking in your energy. And that definitely could be, if you've been feeling them in your energy, that could be because of this Mercury retrograde that we're, I believe it's, it's ending in the next couple of days. It, or it might be today. So sometime soon, which I'm glad because it causes a lot of electronic problems, okay? The nine of pentacles and the page of pentacles. I do feel like you're going to be hearing something about... Um, Something you've been manifesting is coming here with this magician at the bottom of the deck. You've already got everything you need to get to this point. It's coming. You're going to be successful and abundant here with that six of wands and the nine of pentacles, the page of pentacles. Yeah, the magician was at the bottom of the deck and then it came out. So it was meant to come out. You are manifesting. Coming out of, you know, you may have been a little uh stuck for a while okay so if what it was is that you were because these kind of relationships right here with all these swords and having you all up in your head wondering where do we stand um 
those can really mess up your money. So that's why a lot of times I say in the readings, focus on your money, your manifestations, all that, because um, you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. And uh, love will come to you, okay, if that's what you want. But whenever we focus too too much on one person sometimes if they're going through something in their life they could even be going through problems in their life but so when we focus too hard on waiting on them to resolve whatever that is going on it really drags us down it really slows down our money like these cobwebs on um the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is all about your money and work things will be coming together with that three of pentacles and the nine of the knight of wands i meant to say uh i feel like you're closing out a cycle with this person possibly um now not to say that one day things couldn't come together with the person possibly but i think it'll be by that point you may not even you know say if they try to come back into your life you or get their stuff together wherever the case may be um you may not even you'll you might be a totally different person by then is what i'm trying to say okay queen of cups coming out cancer pisces scorpio and the nine of cups wow so you could be seeing nine 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 or you may soon as well as um three 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 okay so the emperor at the bottom of the deck hmm that's some that's some boss energy there if we're talking about career here nine of pentacles is wish fulfillment Something just, that was weird. Some of my clothes over there just fell down and I don't even know why. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to turn around in some situation here. Okay, the Hermit. If you've been in Hermit mode, um, I feel like you're about to come out of Hermit mode. Like maybe you've been keeping it to yourself. I feel like you're going to hear something here. Um, this could be about either some kind of new job or promotion or you could be learning a new skill. This new skill could have something to do with... Um, your intuition or something it don't have to but the queen of cups is very intuitive the chariot something about a car could be significant okay so we got the king of cups here 12 12 on the clock um at the bottom of the deck okay so this okay now i did see ten of cups as well as i was shuffling let's keep going something's about to change here in a good way Now, since since I'm taking all my cards in the upright, I do want to say this, though. The Three of Swords coming out where it did, um, what that could mean is that you just don't want to feel heartbroken. Okay, so the King of Cups coming out. Hmm. Now, that looks like a couple. Um, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's keep going. Six of Wands, success. Okay. So the eight of the eight of wands coming out here, you may hear from this person. They may regret something they've done here with that five of swords coming out in the bottom of the deck. The seven of swords coming out, I don't like that. Okay, so if this person has been real wishy washy in the back, um, in the past, death card at the bottom of the deck, uh then I would, you know, keep that in mind. Don't just look over all that because the Seven of Swords is about deception. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, that was a lot. All right, now. Hmm, I'm going to show you what, which cards came out, but then I'm going to put them back because so many came out. The Hierophant uh, could be about a marriage or some kind of, institution here now it's a small possibility that uh somebody was in jail here with the hierophant and the eight of swords and the emperor um coming out but not necessarily that's just one thing it can mean usually it means um being kind of restricted like all up in your head stressed out about something okay now, it looks like somebody really feels like they missed the opportunity with you here. Like, this is kind of like I should have married her type of energy. Um, 
or if you were married, you know, they feel like they screwed that up is what I'm getting. The Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands. Oh, I did say I was going to put these back, but I'm going to show them to you. Okay. Now, I, the reason why I did want to show you is because the Ace of Cups coming out with the Four of Wands, that's a lot of love there. The, But it's like this person moved away from the love, okay? There's these threes again. A lot of times when there's a lot of threes, it could mean, you know, that there's more than just two people in the situation. Yeah. I think that this person definitely regrets how they treated you. Okay, so what else? Career and finances, both. Oh, what do they need to know about that right now? The page of wands, I feel like, yeah, these are <laughs> making me think of red flags right now. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Um. Somebody could have been struggling with just fear of commitment or, you know, even an addiction. Um, okay, now, the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles, this could be, um, like, whatever that was in the past, something new is coming in. Now, this could be one of two things. It could be the same person has changed and they're coming in wanting to have a new start with you here this could be about a new job coming in a new job offer um or it could be a completely new person the world because the thing is you may have to close out the cycle with this old person you know even if it's like mentally close it out the emperor yeah this could be something about a job here um or it could be a marriage coming up for you in the future. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So something is, there's something good coming in your career, your finances. They're looking good. Okay. So whatever you've got going on with that, um, that you felt like was kind of maybe a little stagnant or not moving as fast as you'd like it to, um, Okay, now again, imprisonment and change. I'm getting like somebody's getting out of jail. Or this could be, so I gotta tell you what the other thing is, is that it could be you're coming out of this um, being stuck in your head thing, like the stress and all the, <coughs> ma'am, <laughs> marriage, okay? Some date, maybe you'll be planning a marriage or something. Whoa, child coming out. Hmm. gift okay now if you don't want to get pregnant be careful because i'm seeing that there could be a pregnancy coming um or something significant about a child if you can't have kids uh or you don't want to like i said be careful or if you can't or if you're past that stage or whatever um a house okay so it looks like something's going to be changing here it could be with you could be moving here um so if you do have a child if there was a situation now the, the child could represent somebody being childish meaning you know the other person or whatever but okay let's keep going wow this looks like to me the great fortune and official person okay if you're going through any kind of situation where you're um, trying to get uh, child support for your your child or something, it looks like that something is gonna something that's been keeping you restricted, which is what the imprisonment card can represent. It don't have to represent real jail restrictions, is what it represents. But it looks like something you've been worrying about here. You're it you're not going to be restricted anymore because you're going from imprisonment to great fortune. Wow. Community. You could get a lot of help from people in your community here. Okay. Coffin. Something's coming to an end here. That's all the coffin card means. Something's coming to an end here. And it also means that's the last card I'm supposed to take on that. So... What I'm getting with that is you being restricted in some way is coming to an end. And I'm going to pull out one more deck 
the six of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Again, success. You're going to have success in this. Whatever this is you've been worrying about financially, something's coming together behind the scenes. Something is coming together behind the scenes. Yeah. And as far as the love goes, that's coming together too. So like I can, I'm just interpreting the cards that are coming out for you. And it looks like there's going to be like double success because you have the six of wands twice. So that, that to me, I would say success in love and money. Um, so if there's a person in your past who tries to come back around and, you know, they always did nothing but hurt you and things like that, that's not the person that's showing up all good in this relationship unless they completely changed and, you know, they were dealing with some issues and they're getting some kind of therapy or they got some kind of help from it for addiction. Whatever they were going through, if, if they've truly changed, you'll know it. But this looks like someone else. And if it's not someone else, they're almost like another person. Um, okay, so the Emperor and the Four of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Okay. Let me see here. All right, so if you are married, um, it looks like that you might be trying to because this could be like a controlling person here. This could be a controlling person who's causing a lot of conflict and chaos with that five of wands, um, king of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, so, you know, there could be a few options here for you as far as love goes, because the five of wands can be a uh, competition to, like as in, you know, so that could be you that's got more than one option here. I feel like, uh, ooh, the Empress coming out, okay? Be careful about that pregnancy. <laughs> or you could just be a mom. The Five of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's keep going. Two of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's some kind of choice that needs to be made here. Or it's almost like this this person here was controlling money, it looks like. The King of Swords. You might have been dealing with somebody who was um kind of narcissistic, okay? Uh, now, the King of Swords with the Emperor, that could be a judge and a lawyer. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Wow. The Empress and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so that's beautiful. So, if you were dealing with somebody who was married or, you know, is the Tower, uh, it looks like somebody could be ending a marriage here. Okay, let's keep going. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so something was something was slowing you down here with this Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's keep going. The High Priestess. Use your intuition here because there's definitely okay, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's definitely a beautiful choice here, a beautiful option here. So make sure that you're using your intuition here and, and making the right choice because depending on what choice you make, you're gonna have wish fulfillment, um, a new beginning here. Your money's gonna be looking good. All right, what else? Oh my goodness. The Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. What I'm getting with this is that um, you may have to let, you know, one thing completely go. Um, possibly a Knight of Wands. Yeah. 
because you there there's true love in your energy already so this could be for the future or it could be somebody that that you already are involved with but you might not see them as the best opportunity at this point because you might think that this knight of wands is you know the better option but <laughs> it may not be it may be the option that you're not thinking is the best option is what i'm getting here okay the king of wands coming up again so that could be significant um seven of swords again okay let me get another song With that song, that Halsey song, it's like shirt, scissor. Give me a second. The lovers. I'm listening to the song. Okay, so I think that you're really like at this point now where you don't know who you want to choose, okay? <laughs> Page of Wands. All right. Um, with the lovers and that two of cups, okay? There's definitely, yeah, okay. So the magician, what are you manifesting? What are you manifesting? Um, with the six of pentacles, I just be careful about um, who you let into your energy. I would keep to myself until I figure it out. The Hermit, um, Virgo Energy, Gemini, Taurus. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Sun at the bottom of the deck, Leo Energy. When you're in this confused state that I feel like you might be in right now, I would um, just pull back from whatever energies you you know the whoever this is causing confusion and it might be more than one person i would pull myself back uh to kind of clear out your energy here um with the sun coming out is what i'm getting until like really matter of fact focus on your career your finances um justice Libra energy. There's a lot of major arcana here. I feel like things are going to fall into place the way they're supposed to. The Eight of Wands coming out. Sagittarius energy. To move forward, I feel like it is time to close out a cycle here with somebody. Three of Wands. If you've been waiting on somebody, I definitely would not wait. Um, the Nine of Wands, it, again... The two of wands, somebody, somebody is kind of two-faced here, I feel like. Um, the two of wands, though, does mean like a goal coming together, but that's kind of a different two of wands. Page of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to hear from somebody. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. Okay, the Fool, Aquarius Energy. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, the devil at the bottom of the deck. There's somebody here that is just... They mess up your energy. And by messing up your energy, they're messing up your money, okay? They got secrets they're hiding here with the moon coming out. And the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's, it's like something is pulling on their energy. And it's conflicting with your water. You see, it's like tainting your energetic water, if you know what I'm saying. The Six of Pentacles, this same Six of Pentacles, do they give you as much energy as you give them? Um, I feel like it's close out. It's time to close that cycle out so that you can get to this one and start this new cycle because you have the energy of a 
some soulmates. I'll say some soulmates because you can have several in, in your life. So it's up to you to pick who, you know, which soulmates that you want to deal with as friends, as lovers, marriage, whatever. It's up to you. So choose the one that's going to make you feel fulfilled and not drain you. Because there's something beautiful waiting here for you. The universe has something beautiful for you, but that will not give it to you or the universe, God, whatever you want to, however you resonate. Um, it's like they'll hold that back from you until you let go of, you know, whoever this seven of swords is. They'll hold back a lot of things from you until you let go of that energy. Because when they bring in this money, this job, this uh, success here, they don't want that person around muddying up your, you know, your clean water, your, which your body is water. They don't want that person in your energy messing that up when they bring it in. So that's what I got for you. I hope that helps y'all. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, also Friday could be significant. I got that before I started. Might be significant. Something about a Friday. So Maybe that means something. Maybe you'll hear something on a Friday. Maybe not, but it was just uh, something I got. Okay, so I hope that helps.